Okay, so here, so here's the thing about conclusions. And if you think about this in your life right now, you'll understand it. Okay, so when in the past, when something intense happened, some kind of trauma, some kind of uh, really big persecution, um, because of the experience and the the horror of the experience, and sometimes the terror of the experience, and also the feelings of betrayals um, and the persecutions you'll anchor in a belief, you'll draw a conclusion, and then you'll anchor it into the subconscious into that in that lifetime. But the thing is, is once it's anchored into the subconscious, it also gets anchored in into the soul imprint. And then what happens is you, as you reincarnate, you are bringing those frequencies with you into the next incarnation, and those are anchored into the subconscious. And then you're recreating experiences basically in order to unravel them. But what you, we actually do is we collect more evidence why we have to stay protected and hide ourselves rather than understanding that then in order to unravel a frequency, we have to know it. And then we, a way to know it is to experience it. Okay, so when you anchor in these conclusions uh, that, you, that you experience, then they stay stuck in your in your soul imprint. So something to, to just think about as far as like, okay, well, how do you draw conclusions? Well, think about this. I like this one. Okay. So the first loves that you felt, you know, you have a first love, you fall in love and then some of you stayed with them, but most people don't and you in the relationship and it's heartbreaking. And what do you do? You go, you say things to yourself like, well, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to open my heart again because I don't ever want to feel that pain again. Okay. So you've drawn a conclusion that relationship or falling in love hurts. Okay. That's a conclusion. It's not the truth. It's not actually the, the you know, factual. It's just, it's a conclusion. It's a belief. And also truthfully, love is, isn't what hurts. It's the other stuff that hurts. Loss, abandonment, betrayals, rejections, all that good stuff. So your conclusions based that are based in your subconscious if we don't unravel those along with the clearing because they're anchored in then we can do all these clearings and eventually you'll recreate it because we didn't clear it out of the subconscious so during the clearing i do go into the subconscious and i am clearing things at a very very deep profound level so um, it's like I'm touching all the components, hitting all the pieces that I've created and developed over years and years and years of healing, hands-on healing, and found all the components so that we can permanently release one from their trauma, from their wounding, from whatever they got run in, which is awesome, you know, pretty awesome when you think about it. So um, if we get all the pieces, if we get all the roots of it, all the seeds, all the, all the, all the components, then it's completely over forever. You never have to do that one again. <laughs>